It's Bullseye. I'm Jesse Thorne. Time now for one of our favorite Bullseye segments, the craziest day of my entire career. This week's guest is Kay Cannon. She started in comedy as a writer. For five years, she worked on 30 Rock, uh, becoming eventually a supervising producer. From there, she worked on New Girl on Fox, and she created the Netflix show Girl Boss. She also wrote all three of the Pitch Perfect movies, some of the biggest comedy hits of the last decade. Now, she's directed her first film ever. It's called Blockers. It's a coming-of-age teen comedy for the post-bridesmaids generation. Three teen girls make a pact to lose their virginity on prom night. And their parents, played by Leslie Mann, Ike Barinholtz, and John Cena, will do everything they can to stop it. I have seen every single Fast and the Furious movie, okay? All of them, dozens of times. Have you seen any of them? I saw the Tokyo one, and I saw the one where the rock punches the torpedo. Those are the best two to see. Okay, in times like this, I ask myself one question. WWVDD, you know what that means? What would Vin Diesel do? No one's ever gotten that before, okay. What we're gonna do, we're gonna kiss the bumper. You give it a little tap and then okay. they're gonna spin and stop and we're gonna spin and stop the other way and okay. we're gonna look at each other and we're gonna go, it's all about the family. Wait, I don't feel comfortable running the kids off the road. This slow and unfurious attitude is not helping us. You have to believe. Okay. Kiss it. Anyway, when we asked Kay about the craziest day of her entire career, she had a pretty great one lined up. I'll let her take it from here. The start of the 24 hours of my craziest day is in San Francisco. I am the showrunner and creator of a show called Girl Boss that we were shooting for Netflix. And we were shooting on the Golden Gate Bridge. And it was raining. And so they only let, like, including the actress, they would only let six other people on the bridge um, with her. So we'd have like sound guy, camera guy, the driver uh, in this little car, and then me. We're in a, a little sidecar that we put the camera in the back of. And we are, uh, the, the scene was that um, Sophia, who's the girl boss, she is holding a wedding dress and she has to run across the entire bridge to get this wedding dress to a customer on the other side. So. It was windy and crazy, and I'm in I'm in this little car. I'm able to hear uh, Britt Robertson, who played Sophia, in the back, doing being really funny, and I'm able to like tell her, like give her jokes and things to do. And so she's running, and I'm going like, "Say you have a body cramp," you know. And I'm hearing her go like, "Body cramp, body cramp." And the driver was like. Um, I've been driving people around on this bridge. I've worked this bridge for like 18 years. And he's like, I've seen all sorts of things. <laughs> Obviously talked about suicides, but a lot of people jumping to their deaths. But then he said, in between takes, he says, um, the craziest thing I saw was when somebody pulled over in the car and a guy pulled out a guy and threw him over the bridge. <laughs> so I'm like, oh, so murder. You've seen murder. Okay, and then let's do another one, Brit. Like <laughs> While I was doing Girl Boss, there was some overlap with me directing Blockers, and I was casting the movie while also shooting Girl Boss. So I knew I wanted John Cena to be to play Mitchell, but it, the producers needed to be convinced, so they, John had to come and audition. Well, I was in San Francisco, and so Good Universe was like, it's really important based on, we need to get John in and get, get him cast, you know, see his audition. So we're gonna fly you private. The same day that I'm on the Golden Gate Bridge, that night, I am being flown private back to LA and then John was coming from Australia, and then he was gonna do his audition, and then I was gonna fly private back to San Francisco so that I was there, you know, the next day. So all the cast and crew at Girl Boss are just like, woo, you get to fly private, how awesome is this, or whatever. And I'm a nervous flyer, I do not like to fly at all, so the, I, even the idea of like flying private and being fancy was not interesting to me. And I've gotten much better about it now. I have, I was, so afraid of flying, large part because I didn't fly until I was a freshman in college. I'm from a very, very small town, 
like we'd never, like, I'm the fifth of seven kids, we never could afford to have all those plane tickets. <laughs> my fear is actually not dying, my fear is that I'll be in the bathroom and I'll get unexpected turbulence and I will hit my head on something and die that way or get a concussion or something with my pants down and have just like and just be found that way I just didn't I never want to be found <laughs> I don't want to be found that way <laughs> and that kind of that almost happened to me like four years ago my husband and I were flying to Key West and I don't know if you remember this it was kind of in the news where there was all these like tornadoes that went through Florida and so I was in the bathroom just peeing and it, we had crazy unexpected turbulence my husband was standing outside waiting to you know we both decided to go to the bathroom at the same time and I just peed all over myself and it's, it's one of those things where you're just like flaring you know like you're like holding on to the side and and then I open up the door. He's a little pale because it, I mean, it was it was scary. It was like things like the open uh, overhead bins like opened up and things fell out and the uh, cart had like gone uh, <laughs> to, like full, fell to the back. And I said, I just peed all over myself and it's all over my uh, pants. And he gave me his sweater and I wrapped it around me and he's like, just walk. And he didn't even go to the bathroom and, and he walked me back uh, to my seat. That was pretty terrible. So I have this wild time on the Golden Gate Bridge. I get driven like really fancy car, pull up into the airport where, and I see the plane that uh, is gonna take me to Los Angeles. It is like a four-seater and there's no bathrooms. Which, to someone who's afraid of flying, is, this is like catastrophic news to me, <laughs> right? So then I don't have to go through security. I'm like, I'm in the, um, you know, in the waiting area and I see this old man that I think is a little bit feeble sitting there waiting and the woman I checked in with, she's like, oh, it's time, the, the captain is, is here and you know, everybody's ready to, to fly. And the old feeble man is the pilot. I get on the plane and I'm like, so there's no bathrooms? And, and he's like, no, there's no bathrooms. He goes, do you want anything to drink? And there was just like a little cooler, like a little blue tiny cooler that you would bring on, like on a picnic or like on the beach or something. And he opens it up and there's like vodka and there's Pepsi and whatever. And I was like, oh, uh, yeah, I want a lot to drink actually. I'll have a... <laughs> so I go to make it myself and he's like, no, no, I'll make it for you. The captain of the plane made my drink for me and he's like a little bit of shaky hand. <laughs> So then I land, totally fine, and then the next morning, John Cena comes in. He is he's flown in from Australia, and when John walks in, he you know he's a big guy, right? And and I immediately go for a hug though, like I don't know what I was thinking. I was like, hey John, and I go in for a hug, and he's like, ma'am, <laughs> like not having it, like no, like my arms are out and his were not, and so I I backed up and I didn't hug him. I don't know what I was thinking. I just thought that, I, I thought it was like an actory thing where like we, we all kind of hug each other and seem closer than what we actually are. He says to me, like, uh, so okay, I have uh, just flown in from Australia. I had five minutes with the material. I don't know how good this is going to be. <laughs> Boy, he's like, he was intense. <laughs> You know, like he was intense. He was just all business. And it's, you know, like, because I think he was like, much like myself. I think he was going back on a plane to go, you know, to fly like to um, he lives in Florida. Well, the first thing that we all said to each other was he was great. Like he was great. and He was perfect. And he, he was right for the role. So this it was really like a first for me to be like, uh, and I'm with John Cena, who's this wrestler, and he's very like soldier esque with me, and and then back on onto the fancy plane, and then back to Girl Boss. I think that's it's crazy because I was like, oh my gosh, I'm doing something. Being on the Golden Gate Bridge, I was like, I cannot believe I'm up here. I cannot believe I'm actually doing this. It's, I get to do this for a living, and how exciting that was. It was like so great to utter fear in a, in an airplane, <laughs> and I felt like 
on paper, it would look like I was having this amazing Hollywood, you know, fancy jet setting life where I'm being pulled up into in a nice car right up to the door of the airplane. But in reality, when you're afraid to fly, you think this is terrible. <laughs> this is not, this is not at all exciting. It was a wild ride. Kay Cannon on the craziest day of her entire career. Blockers is in theaters now. It's a lot of fun. Go check it out.